first the Deputy Prime Minister to present those gifts. Yellow, yellow, Uganda, yellow. So I will say, these people are starting to look there. Oh, this is the pool, the arrow. It's traditional, of course. I like the, 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 the guards who are using that. This is the traditional. And therefore, I'm giving you the mind, you that have uh, a little work to do. Part of it is to defend this country. And because of poverty, I don't give you this. It shall remain you get to hear and your people will take it from here. In addition to this record, which is a short, a short distance probably, this one is also another weapon traditionally. We used to defend this country and we are giving you also to defend this country. Thank you very much. We are, on behalf of the Vanessa Buddha, we are giving you the traditional witness. We used to turn this part of the district with Let's observe the SOP. You are starting with the custodian of the law. Thank you. And I request all the people of Uganda, wherever the president go for his presidential campaign, let's try to observe SOP as we handle the gifts to the president. I thank you. Long live His Excellency. Long live Uganda. Long live NRM party. But today, since we have a bit of time, we think it's also good that uh, the public sees some of us. While the actually hidden purpose is to, to also show us that we are here. As your first deputy prime minister. And uh, the former vice chair, the former chairman of UNRF. Together, casually, we say Coco West Nile. So, we are here to invite the speaker. However, the minister of Northern Uganda has already said the road I was going to, to remind you about. Minister <laughs> Mwa. Last time we were in Arua, when you came to for break, down, uh, break, uh, break, ground, ground, ground breaking, breaking. Arua, I told you in West Nile we seven, 13, uh, 13 MPs lost. I West Nile kakenieni. Jowangwa mi parliament, members mi parliament, a paradek gi gi gidong lost the primaries. Gi gi po the primary. And the thirteen went through. A paradek mukende kado. And I asked you, sir, that uh, we should find out why the, the 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 secretariat should find out why some of us are have lost. This is a big loss. I was in your call, Payanare Mukesai, Telembe, Pirango, Madano, Enugi Podu, Enute Podu, Majita Kesha. Fifty percent is too high. 
percent wida pira bish utie dita kesha like here for example chalo kakai amita milanyut our colleagues lost because of this roads has been red jowadwa egipodu pilembe pa gudu they are not paying attention bien nya gibe winjongo lembe pa dano but it is also true that these roads are not responsibility of the members of parliament relema da de nya nangu lembe pa gudu eti en go lembe pa dano mi pali ame members mi pali ame so we pray don't worry in this next coming budget you will consider e mi wangu ama e madongi sa kwirme Team Kisa UIT we in Gudwenu. And this this Madio Kolo being here. Madio Kolo ni pedu kaka indi. Because uh, they they were actually to be in Moyo, but because Moyo is a, is very far in terms of infrastructure. Nangoma kugipedi Moyo ento pien Moyo bora kesha pilembe pa dongongom. And if this road from Panjimur or to Pakwach, Riley Camp. Or Bogi up to Laropi Difle. It's then Sudan Then Mario Kolo will not uh, say that is very far. Nango Mario Kolo watch kucha borungo yano. Because they sometimes even go up to Entebbe. Bien kisi do biri Entebbe de. For meetings. Pe shoko. But we agree because they are. The road, the infrastructure is not good at the time. Why you carashelo pian guru lengunga kesha? They can easily come here. Don't give up on me, baby. Kaka, I can go. Your Excellency, here we intend to join hands with your team to converse, uh, vote for you from all sections. We have people introduced here. Some are independent. No, not independent. Some are incumbent, some are flag bearers, and so on. But this to us should not matter in your elections because you are, we want to call all these voters who voted for, for, for incumbent, who voted for, for, the, for the flag bearers, all these. These are the targets we are aiming at that. Because those are all your voters, irrespective of their differences. And that we don't want that differences to cross any border to your side. Let it remain with them. Your Excellency, I want to share briefly with the, uh, our, 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 our delegates here, and even the, especially the youth that uh, where we are at Madi district in 1956 was part of the greater West Nile. It's only one district, the whole West Nile is one district, was one with district. And in 1956, a district commissioner of South Sudan in Ye was affected by the war. He could not serve. He became a refugee. He came with the over 100 workers on horses and so on. They came across Kejikeji and entered the nearest part of Uganda, which is this district. At that time, this district was a sub district of West Nile. Our district commissioner at that time was a uh, somebody from Nebi called Rubanga. I don't know the second name. But he was here. So when this, this the Mzungu came here, Mr. Duke, he was called. Rubanga being a, a heading, a sub-district of West Nile, was making his report every time, every end of the month to the district commissioner in, in Arua. But when this Mzungu came, he, 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 he found himself senior in their system of public service to senior to that man in Arua. So he declined, he refused to make a report to the RDCs at that time of Arua, of the whole West Nile. 